Hello guys, Mike Winnie Gamer here, and I'm back with more Legea 2. After that extremely cutscene heavy and story inducing episode, we are here now with Galvin worrying about us and Nancy worrying about us as well. If you had died, I don't know what we would have done. I'm so glad. <laughs> Calvin? I. Aston got to Hunter's Wood just in time, but too late for Edward, unfortunately. I can't believe you've been asleep for five days! We couldn't find any wounds, but you wouldn't wake up at all. You don't know how worried we were. You must be starving, right? Of course you are, sleeping all this time. I'll go make you something right now. <laughs> It's too soon for you to be walking, boy. You don't look injured, but that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with you. Take it easy and rest up. Mm, okay. Haha, <laughs> we get up anyway. I would go ahead and save your game again, don't worry. Now, real fast, I just want to tell you... I... I'm pretty sure that even if you grind it up to, like, level 10, you still couldn't kill that guy. No matter what you do, your attacks will always do zero. Anyway, if you come run over here, he's like, Mike, are you sure you shouldn't be lying down? I can't believe it. Marcus Dean and now Edward. Or Edward, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name. What are you wandering around for? You obviously have to take it easy. You were sleeping all this time. Are you hungry? I'll whip up something nutritious for you. Hey Mike, the lake? No, forget it. What about the lake? Pfft, Mike, you're still alive? I was sure you were a goner. Yeah, I managed to make it, but they tell me I've been sleeping for five days straight. Huh, <laughs> some luck you've got. That's what happens when you always show off. You should stick to killing bugs. Thanks for your concern. You notice Marcus is gone too. Anyway. Mike, you ever gained consciousness? I'm relieved indeed. Now you can go up to the second floor and see what she's talking about, but I like to go out the front door instead. Come over here. Mike, you're up already? If you look at this grave, the inscription on the gravestone reads, Here lies Edward in Eternal West. There. <laughs> you didn't even read it from back. I just thought I would do that just for fun. Anyway. You just kind of look around. It doesn't seem to be much going on yet. Let me go talk to people. There's no more waterfall. What? I'm so scared. Oh, Mike, are you feeling better? What a tragedy this all is. I can barely believe it. Mr. Mike, is it okay for you to be up while you were unconscious? The aqua lift? No. It's... it's nothing. What about the Aqualift? Why won't people tell me? Well... Head out to the lake. And you'll see what they're so concerned about. It's gone. The Aqualith! And here's a... kind of remake of that, um... awesome music that plays when you find a Genesis tree. I wanted to break the news to you later, but I guess you've seen it already. While you were unconscious, the man from Hunter's Witch showed up and stole the Aqualift from the lake. Our life here depended on the Aqualift. Without it, we are through. Way to put a downer on things. He must be related to Orphan in some way. 
The corpse is a shambles, the aqua lift's gone. What are we supposed to do now? The future sure isn't looking too bright. By the way, does him limping like that remind you of another character? Yes, it reminds it should remind you of Van. Not Van, um, um the main character's father in um uh, Le uh, Legend of the Gaia. I forget his name all of a sudden. Which is depressing, because I should remember it. Oh well. Yeah, if you talked to everybody else, they would have said stuff about it. But I didn't want them to ruin it, so that's why I went ahead and showed you. Don't worry, you don't miss any interesting dialogue. So we're sitting in deep thought. What can I do? What can I possibly hope to achieve? Get back the aqua lift? And I don't know. Get back the aqua lift. But if I could only get the stone, I might be able to save the town. But do I have any chance of winning? Against a man with such powers? Against that monster? No. Just, just sitting here isn't going to accomplish anything. I'm going. I don't know if I can get it back, but I'm going after the aqua lift. Now, um, sadly, you won't be able to, like, talk to anybody to tell them that you're leaving. Um, so, you just gotta leave. I think if you try to go up to any of their doors, it's like, it is locked, see? They're all locked. You can go to the store at this time or anything, but you really don't need anything. Uh, as long as you have 13 heal powders like I do, um, the broadsword and the other chest, you should be fine. Mike! Where do you think you're off to all by yourself and so early in the morning? Be honest. I'm gonna get it back. I'm going to track down that man and bring back the Aqualift. Finally, you wake up and now, you really are a piece of work, boy. Nothing I say will stop you, will it, Mike? Go. Go do what you must. Father, wait! I thought you were going to stop him! And you! He wasn't human, he was a monster! How can you possibly hope to win? Nancy, it's not a matter of win or lose. There are times when a man just can't back down. You must try and understand that. But... but. <laughs> Mike, take the sword with you. Acquired hammer blade. It's old, but the blade still packs a punch. It's not much of a parting gift for such an undertaking, but I hope it proves useful. Now, if you noticed, whenever he put it in your hands, you kind of like dropped your hands a little bit like, whoa! Um, it is a heavy sword. So, yeah. You should always take this wind talisman with you. I heard from Aston that the man went towards Gale Canyon. You'll need this to pass through there. Okay. Now don't you worry about the town, you hear? I might be in trouble, but leave it to me to hold down the fort while you're gone. Father! <sighs> Man. Go do what you have to do, but you'd better promise you'll be back. If you don't come back, I'll, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you, boy. Godspeed.
I like how you look towards your house before you leave. <laughs> okay. So, at this time, you can go to Gale Canyon. You can also go back to Hunter's Wood, but there's really no point in going back to Hunter's Wood. Now, Gale Canyon. The thing that sucks about it is, it's a really tough place. And, um... You might ask yourself... Should I equip the hammer blade? Uh... No. Even though it does give you plus six attack, it knocks down your agility and, um... And, uh, your, um... I still don't know what CHA stands for exactly, but anyway, you notice that it has an added thing to it. It's hit rate up plus one. Now, the only thing that does is it means that you won't be blocked as often if you use it. That's great and all, but um, to me, the loss in agility just doesn't make it worth it to use at this time. Because. When you have lower agility, you don't go first, you know, you uh, go second a lot of the times. So I always just stuck with the broadsword. Now the problem is, you'll want to, uh, when you get into this place, uh, you want to get your level up to level 7, eventually, because this area is a lot tougher than the uh, previous level that you were on. You had a pickpocket charm there. If you're walking to the gust, Mike kind of stands there like, huh, this is weird. Hold out the wind talisman, though. And it gets wind of the wind. Hmm. Well, that's nice. The winds have stopped. I wonder if it has anything to do with the wind talisman. Okay, anyway. <laughs> now, what to expect in this place? There's giant, uh, golem-like enemies here. They're the toughest of the enemies you'll find. Um... There's, um... What else is there? Ah, I forget. I just want to do this cutscene real quick. Hey! Are we really going through here, Elliot? Yes, that's the only place we haven't searched yet. What's the matter, Bubba? Don't tell me you're scared. For a big, burly guy, you sure are a wuss sometimes. <laughs> Meet my least favorite character in this game, this bitch here. It's not his fault, Marilyn. After all, he's not a mystic like us. <laughs> you're right, of course, my brother. He may be big, but he's just a regular human. <coughs> and that nasty little pet of yours. What do you call it? Alpha? Elfin? Pet? Elfin's not just a pet. Oh, now you cross the line. You're gonna get it, you little pig. I'll make you pay someday. Hmm? You got something you want to say, Bubba? I didn't think so. Well, go on, start searching. My sister and I are tired. If you find a mystic, come back here and get us, okay? Oh, just you wait. You think you can push me around? I'm gonna get you two one of these days. Pow! I wish you would. Didn't you hear my brother? I certainly hope you haven't forgotten who saved you from a life in the dungeons, hmm? Then again, maybe you want to go back to that smelly hole. Ha 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 ha! Come on, Elfin. Ugh, I hate those two. Gale Ken. Now you might notice that there's a treasure chest up there. Um, I think you can get to it if you run over here. Oh no, you can't. But see, there's this little patch of the ground. He's like, you can see the earth has been disturbed. Nothing you can do with that, but it's there.
let's see what our first enemy is. Here I go! Yep, here's that enemy I was talking about, the Rock Golem. Now, the Rock Golem <coughs> moves like Sandstorm. Yeah, yeah. Really help out, because as you can see, he has a shit ton of health and a crap load of defense. Now his attack is to do one Shoot. upper and then one lower attack, or usually two uppers. Um, I've found that Mountain Crusher and Sandstorm are a good combination. They tend to do the most damage to him. And you can also uh, do damage to him, you know, using the, um, what's it called, um, other sword that, you know, Galvin gave you. Just know that if you do, um, get killed like I just did, <laughs> that you're awesome. That's right. You're totally awesome if you die here. Because it's probably going to happen. Now I'm going to cut and get back to where we were because I don't want you to watch that cutscene again. <laughs>